Abba, come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. What you call this? Give yourself to everybody. Super early right now. It is 10:50 a.m. Saturday. About to go and get my fasted cardio done. Just kind of filling you guys in with what I've been up to training wise. As things have been a bit rough. Um, I was just feeling under the weather on Sunday of last week and I feel like I had like kind of bad allergies and then just felt a bit congested. Um, I don't think I had, you know, COVID or anything like that. I think I had that way back like last year, but I just felt like a bit under the weather and I think that was because after my friends left, after my friends left Miami, you know, I was just super motivated to get back on the grind. And I, was, I started doing like double training sessions just really pushing my body and I feel like my immune system was kind of weak from just like you know partying and you know drinking and then just going from that to like just pushing my body I felt like my immune system kind of went down so then started feeling like a little under the weather but feeling a lot better now I've just been taking a lot of supplements like this like immune 24 hour it has like zinc and vitamin D overall I'm feeling a lot better so Better go and do my fasted cardio. My goal right now is to get down at least 30 to 40 minutes. And um, I'm doing it just because I just feel better when I do cardio. I know some people don't like to do cardio. I'm, I'm actually pretty far out from a show. I would say around like three months. So I have a lot of time to really dial it in. But for me, when I have a consistent cardio routine, I like to work around that. So my diet and my training would be all put around that but I just think when you start a prep one of the best things that you can do is create good habits and I feel like cardio is one of them like doing cardio coming home having like a whole morning routine which you know usually I make like a cup of coffee make my breakfast then I will sit down in the same exact spot I do every single day checking with clients and then from there you know I obviously have two dogs here I'll just give you a little zoom on Bubba you got a big bubble guy. What's up, buddy? Give me a ball. Give me a ball. Nice. But yeah, so I pretty much take care of these guys throughout the day. And then usually after I do my cardio, I like to take a nap. After checking in with a, a few clients, take a nap and then have another meal. Then go do my training session. So I'm pretty much laying out what my day will look like when I'm on prep. It's pretty much the same every single day. I like to keep it pretty simple and usually it's really effective that way. When it's really inconsistent, I feel like it's mad hard to really nail down what's going on with my body. I feel like when everything's the same every single day, food is the same. I mean, as far as like sodium, I like to use different sauces and stuff when I'm, when I'm far out from the show, but for the most part, it's like little things that need to be changed depending on what my coach wants to do. But I'm gonna go ahead and hit this fast cardio session right now. And right now I'm doing um, one burn XT, which is kind of like a fat burner. It's just um, green tea leaf extract, caffeine, um, K pepper fruit extract. And I like to stack that with uh, this L carnitine supplement from Jack Factory. Two caps is 1500 mg, so this is ideal. So I'll do these two and then I just chug a lot of water. And then when I get to my uh, cardio, depending on what I wanna do, I'll probably do like 20 minutes on, on Stairmaster and then 10 to 15 minutes on treadmill. So that's probably what I'm gonna do today. My goal is just to get my, my body, you know, moving, getting my, um, my metabolism going. And uh, my coach actually sent me a new diet. This, he sent me a new diet yesterday because I kind of filled him in with, you know, everything that's been going on. And um, this is pretty much like the start of prep. So I'm really excited to show you guys what I'm gonna be looking like from the start of prep now up until the show. So there's, you know, a lot of work to do, but it's, it's super fun at the end of the day. I, I love um, just, a challenge getting myself in the best shape possible and really pushing my limits and I feel like a competition is what brings the best out of me so let's get this fast food cardio done because I'm pretty hungry already looking forward to that first meal 
So I'm about to head out, go get this cardio done, and I'll see you guys in a minute. Done doing classic cardio. I actually um, went to a grocery store, picked up all these items right here. But I make my first meal of the day. Actually, I'm not gonna be doing oatmeal, sorry. I'm actually gonna do a bagel. I don't know why I grabbed the oatmeal. But pretty much, I got my hot sauces. I'm just like in a phase where I like, I like a lot of hot sauce right now. I have um, this little thing, soy sauce, didn't have the regular size, so I had to resort to this. And I got some Bridal Farms pastry raised eggs. These are like my favorite eggs, they actually taste really good. Good quality eggs. Egg whites, and I got a bagel thing. This is actually refrigerated too, so it doesn't expire. This expires in May, um, May 17th of this year. So I literally have like a full month to kill this. If you get it in the aisle where it's already outside, you probably have like a good week before it goes bad. And I switched between bagels and oatmeal. So right now, I don't know why I have this bowl. I'm gonna be making my first meal. I use, um, you know, zero calorie cooking spray. And I like to do, well my coach has me doing 10 ounces of egg whites. He said I could either drink this or eat it, and, and I'd rather eat it. I'm not that hardcore. Ten ounces. Nice. So we got ten ounces of egg whites. And I put two whole eggs, which is about ten grams of fat. Take a look at this this uh, yolk right here. See how orange that is? These are good quality eggs. Next time you go to a grocery store, give it a try. I think it's called Vital Farms. Yep, Vital Farms eggs. And then I'm gonna do one bagel, which is about 40 grams of carbs. Yeah, so getting back into the gym, I do feel a lot better after taking five days off. Oh, shit. My um, immune system is definitely recovering. I pretty much slept the whole entire week and just made sure, you know, I was just getting better at recovering. And then for my eggs, I like to kind of scramble it. I feel like every video I make, I'm showing you guys my breakfast. But breakfast is like one of my favorite meals of the day, so I gotta show my favorite meal. But I actually did 25 minutes of cardio today. I'm actually gonna do maybe like 15 minutes after my workout. I just felt like I was running a bit short on time. And it was already, you know, like 12, and then I realized I didn't have eggs, and I had to go to the grocery store, so I kind of cut the cardio a little short, and then Go to the grocery store, and here I am now. But today is Saturday, and they got some UFC fights on tonight, so I'm really excited. It's gonna be Stipe against Francis Ganu. Um, it's gonna be a tough match for both of them. I feel like Francis sh should be able to win if it's round one or two, but if it goes into round three, four, and five, then I think Stipe is gonna take it. I think overall, Stipe has more skills and is more efficient and technical. Whereas in Gondo, he's really good too. He has like just crazy power. So CPA just has to be careful. But I'm probably gonna be watching that later tonight. Here are my eggs. And I don't season it until it's pretty much like cooked up like this because I, I find that if I kind of season it too early, the season kind of burns the eggs and it doesn't cook that well. I kind of just use like garlic powder. So I use I mean like a little bit of black pepper. And then some salt. Yep. I literally took like five minutes to make this meal. If I did want to drink the egg whites, it'd probably be like two minutes, but 
like to actually eat the food and enjoy the meal. I don't think it has to be that. I mean, unless you're not a big eater, I actually like to eat, so. This is gonna be my first meal. I have, again, two whole eggs, 10 ounce egg whites, one bagel. Before, I like to drink, um, I like to get my daily greens in before I eat anything. This just helps with digestion and just getting all the micros in. I don't really like to eat veggies, especially far out from the show. When I get closer, I like to incorporate more veggies, but being this far out, I like to use a drink, a supplement for it. Screen Surge by uh, Jack Factory. I actually like this one. This is the mixed berry flavor. I actually like the um the green apple one better, but this this isn't too bad. Sometimes I'll do two servings of this, one in the morning and then I'll do another serving, like maybe with my like fifth meal. <sighs> Alright. <clears throat> and with the with my breakfast I like to do hot sauce right now. I'm just like in a hot sauce phase. I don't know why. I feel like I'm just like craving buffalo wings, but I can't have it, so this is kind of like the replacement. I like to sprinkle a decent amount of hot sauce on there. Yeah, this is going to be my first meal. I'm about to eat this meal. Probably check in with some clients, rest a little bit, and then I'll be showing you guys what my pre training meal is and then some of the supplements I take during my workout. I'll try to show you guys most of my meals today, kind of like a full day of eating with the supplements I take. But yeah, this is like day one of prep all over again, just because, you know, I was out of the gym for five days. But I'm back now and I'm really excited to show you guys, you know, this whole entire prep and what goes into it. Right now it's pretty simple, just trying to get a response out of my body so then my coach can reassess what we need to do. But I think I'm at a really good starting point. I was gonna originally do a show probably mid-May, but I was planning on moving mid-May, so I think it would just been it would be a little too stressful. But the game plan right now, three months, three or four months from a show, and the goal is to peak towards the end of the year. I felt like last year I peaked early in the year because I did Arnold, then had to qualify for Olympia, which I kind of peaked again mid-summer, and then peaking for the Olympia was kind of hard. Um, that was towards the end of the year, so this time around just game planning things better and hopefully the outcome will be better but I'm gonna dig into this meal and then I'll show you guys what I'll be eating next pre training meal is about to go down the way I like to add my water is usually I weigh out you know 70 grams or whatever the amount is came out 71 after just moving it so about 70 grams of, of uh, cream of rice and it's at 2.5 ounces and what I like to do is Pretty much add water until it's at like probably like 12 to 14 ounces so here and this makes it pretty the texture really consistent I usually put this in the microwave for probably like four minutes let's see four minutes the volume on this that's the reason why I like to add a little bit more water because if uh, you don't put as much water it becomes like a little too dry and then when you add in you know, the protein powder it doesn't really mix too well but today my pre-training meal is going to be 70 grams of cream of rice I'll be doing two scoops of this isolate protein by Jack Factory chocolate peanut butter flavor one of my favorites and then I'll be adding 16 grams of almond butter <clears throat> Let's go. And this is about 50 grams of carbs. I mean, 50 grams of protein from the from the protein powder. And as far as the carbs, I believe it's around like 50 to 60 grams. And then pretty much one tablespoon of the um, almond butter, which is about eight grams of fat. I love almond butter so much. 
right on. So this is the pre-training meal. I'll see it one more time. 70 grams of cream of rice, two scoops of isolate protein, 16 grams of almond butter. I love eating cream of rice pre-training just because it's really easy to digest. I don't really like to have like something too big or too like solid. This is kind of like, reminds me of like eating like a mashed potato almost. But obviously, you know, you're able to get your protein intake in and it's super easy to digest. And that's one thing I like to really preach, um, how efficiently you're able to digest the foods that you're eating because the goal is to be able to eat a lot of food and, you know, process everything efficiently. Because a lot of people, when they go on a diet and they just start pushing a lot of food and they're not really too aware of what works best with their body, I feel like they kind of stall out and they get into a phase where, you know, their digestion is not on point, they feel bloated. Um, that's another reason why I like to do cardio, help my body absorb the food efficiently and help my body digest the food. And like I said in my pre previous videos, for off season, bulking season, cardio is super essential. Um, a lot of the guys that I'm working with, I put them on a, probably like 20 to even 30 minutes in a growing phase just because I'm pushing so much food. And in order for all that food to be utilized, you gotta, you gotta move, you know what I'm saying? Because if you're just eating all this food, you're not moving, you're just gonna be having all this energy and fuel and you're just not really doing anything with it. So. I like to have my clients do, you know, some some form of cardio at, at least three times a week. You know, they can do it four or five times. They can do it every single day. They can make it a part of the routine. I think cardio plays a big role with, you know, your endurance in the gym too. You can be in a phase where you're trying to get stronger and grow, but if your performance in the gym is kind of like not really there because you're not really in shape, in physical fitness shape, it's kind of hard to really perform at your best so that's another reason why I like to implement cardio but this is going to be my pre-training meal I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to be training today I'm feeling it's probably going to be like a bit of back and then chest I'm just getting back to the gym again so it's not like I'm going to be doing anything too extreme it's more of just seeing where my body's at seeing where my strength is at and I'm um, just really focusing on just getting my body back in tune and uh, trying to get back on a program and just build upon that. But I do plan on increasing the load once my body gets more adapted to, you know, the diet, recovery, and just the efficiency of everything. So that's gonna take probably like three or four weeks. And then from there, I can start ramping up my training. But right now, just rebuilding, readapting, seeing how things respond. And um, that's pretty much it. But I'm going to eat my pre-workout meal right now. And then I'll be showing you guys what I'll be using for my pre-workout. Super excited. All right, guys. It's time to head to the gym. Right now, I'm about to show you guys what I'm about to be taking for my workout. So during the actual workout, I'm going to do one scoop of the peach mango carb surge, which is, you know, carb powder. Just gives me more energy and um, gives me more endurance and it makes my workout last a lot, a lot longer because I'm feeding the actual workout and I'll also do a scoop of the EAA surge and this is my, my new favorite um, pre-workout is the Bumstead line, C Bums line. And it's pretty cool because uh, it has like an actual double scooper. So what I've been doing is I've been just doing like half a scoop like this but I'm probably going to take this when I get a little closer to the gym because it's going to be like a 25 minute drive. I accidentally, you know, slept for a while and a lot of the gyms are closing. So I'm gonna have to drive 25 minutes to get this workout in. But do one scoop, carb surge. Both the same exact flavor, so Jack Factory knows exactly what the deal is. Peach mango for both, one scoop each. And um, yeah, this is just pretty much my, my training stack right now. 
you saw that I took the fat burner and the L quarantine, which is these two. I take this in the morning before cardio. But Jack Factory, they actually have you know a lot of great supplements. I'm really blown away by you know the quality and the variety they have. But <clears throat> I'm gonna be probably sipping on this in like 10 minutes, like 10 minutes away from the gym, and then sip the rest during my workout. And then I'm gonna take a scoop of this, probably straight to the face when I get closer to the gym because I don't know how the traffic's gonna be and I don't wanna drink it too early. But about to head to the gym right now. Chest and back is what I'm thinking. Hopefully it's not too packed. And then uh, let's crush this workout.
hope you guys enjoyed that chest and back workout overall it was a pretty good workout i didn't go extremely intense like i said before i was just trying to see where you know my body's at you know after taking the days off from training but felt great good amount of energy and overall i was able to push through some heavy weight and have a pretty optimal workout so my goal now is just to you know keep on training that way and just start building my training up and really excited to see you know how strong i can really get and how my body morphs but i'm gonna have this post training meal right now i'm gonna show you guys what i'll be eating actually i'm gonna start from here actually okay 7.3 ounces of shrimp from trifecta very good but this is gonna be my post training meal um obviously it's just protein and as my carb source i have 200 grams of white rice which i'll be right here always have rice cooked especially if you're on prep i would say um, it's something you're gonna be eating really frequently so i always try to have the batch cooked you know store in the fridge so then you know it stays fresh and then like with this instead of using tupperware Let's grab one of these. And just put it in here like this. And pretty much just zip lock it, just keeps it nice and fresh. Just throw it in the fridge. Just like that. Alright, post with that meal is ready. I'll show you guys what I like to do. I'll put the shrimp in. We got the shrimp, rice. I like to add a little bit of the garlic powder. And the best part is the um the Frank's red hot. Like I said, I'm on I'm on like a like a hot sauce phase right now. And this is just so good with the shrimp. I put a decent amount on there too. And there you have it. Post workout meal. Ready to go. I'm super excited to eat this and then start watching some of the fights. Um, I'll show you guys what I'll be eating, you know, th during the rest of the day and keep you guys in tune with what my diet is looking like. All right, I'm about to set up meal number four. Here I have just two two pieces of chicken breast that I got from the grocery store. Put a little bit of garlic powder. I like to add a little bit of Italian seasoning as well, just to make it a little tasty. And then what I like to do is I kind of cut like little, a little bit into the meat so then it cooks, cooks it really well because you don't want to eat any, you know, uncooked meat. I'm going to show you guys a way I like to cook chicken. Like, you know, it comes out really nice and tender. Because sometimes like if you try to just bake it, it's like, it's just really dry and doesn't really have like that great of a taste to it. So still using you know the zero calorie cooking spray and um this is pretty much warm now i actually had it heating now i actually put the the oven itself at a broil high so what i do is i pretty much just put the chicken breast on here and this is at like a medium for the um the stove top so i like to season the one side and as this is cooking I pretty much season the opposite side. Nice. Pretty much I let it sit here for about probably two, three minutes. Flip it, let it sit for two, three minutes, and then I'll throw it in the oven and I'll let it sit in there probably for like ten to fifteen minutes. It comes out really nice, and like crispy on the outside and the inside, and cut into it. It'll be really tender. So, setting up the next meal, watching some of the fights. The first fight was pretty good. The dude got knocked out, like almost like he didn't even know what was happening. But my chest is pretty sore. I went a bit heavier than I thought I could have. I just felt really good today. You can tell the chicken's almost ready to be flipped because you can see it kind of like lightening up on the outside. So, I'm actually just gonna. Flip it. And to be honest, you don't even have to sit here and let it cook. Because, I mean, you don't have to let it sit on the stove top at this point. The oven's already at a boil high. So what I pretty much do is 
You also gotta make sure the the um the pan that you're using is all metal and can go into the oven. And then I pretty much just put it in here. And then let that run for like 10 minutes and then the chicken should be pretty much done from there. Pretty simple to be honest. But I'll show you guys how it looks when it comes out the oven. Alright, the chicken's pretty much ready to go. Let's see how it comes out. I'm making my meal number four right now. Let me show you how it looks on the inside. See how it's like super tender? Just be really careful because the, the, the pan is going to be really hot. But here I have my meal number four. I have 200 grams of white rice weighed out. And I have three ounces of um, bison from Trifecta. Three ounces of chicken for this meal. So let's see if my chicken is happening right. Yeah, this chicken came out really nice. Two points. There we go. Yeah. There we go. So this is my meal number four. 200 grams of white rice, three ounces of bison, three ounces of chicken. The chicken I just made. And I will probably use some um, Frank Red Hot. Frank's Red Hot for the, the chicken. And then I like to do um, no sugar added ketchup for the bison. And then that's going to be meal number four. Quick and easy. With the help of trifecta, it does make a lot of things a lot easier. I just gotta let them know that I have chicken on my diet because I I had like a whole different I had a whole different set of meals being sent to me. So now that I'm officially on prep, I'm going to make sure I get the right stuff that um, my coach wants me to eat. And yeah, it's meal number four. I have two more meals before I go to bed, so I'll show you guys what I'll be eating next. Probably eating the next meal probably in like two hours, so it'll be a bit of time. So gonna enjoy this, watch some fights, and then I'll check in with you guys afterwards. Meal number five here, I have seven ounces of chicken breast, and I'm gonna be doing one tablespoon of this peanut butter. No carbs this meal. This is gonna be my second to last meal. I have one more meal, which is just a protein shake, which I'll probably have right before I go to bed. I'm gonna probably check in with more clients. Got done watching the fights, super epic, crazy knockouts. But um, yeah, today was pretty productive. Got my training in, so it feels good, you know, getting back into the gym after taking so many days off. My body feels like almost fresh as new because I've never gone literally five days without going to the gym. So I feel like, in a way, it could be super beneficial to me just because. As it is, it's kind of hard for me to take a day off from the gym, so I think it it can only benefit me. But um, yeah, meal number five here, seven ounces of chicken breast. I'm gonna be doing 16 grams of peanut butter, which is about eight grams of fat. No carbs this meal. Last meal, I'll be having it right before bed, which is a scoop and a half of protein and then a little bit more peanut butter. Just gonna finish off the night checking with clients, making sure everybody's on point. And then back to the grind tomorrow, I'm gonna wake up, faster cardio. The diet in my whole plan is pretty much gonna be the same. I'll probably drop another video when, you know, maybe if I get a cheat meal, show you guys what I do for a cheat meal or how I approach a cheat meal, but I don't think I'll be getting one for a while. So I'm, I'm gonna get my training back in tune. And from there, build up my training and show you guys some cool workouts that I like to do going into the prep. Um, right now, obviously I'm just still eating a significant amount of food, carbs are still moderate, just trying to really utilize everything efficiently. But this is going to wrap up the video, hope you guys enjoy the workout, it's me showing you all the meals, supplement I take around my meals, and my training, and um, much love, appreciate all the support, and I'm going to continue pushing out this content for you guys. Super excited to show you guys the full journey for this prep, and you know I'm going to do my best to bring something special for this year, so we'll see how things go. and. Till next time.